Welcome to the FIS press conference after the Nordic Combine race today in uh, first to last and then live on the day zero. Here at the table we have the uh, new world champion, Chazon Lamy Chagui, welcome. And uh, second, silver medal, Mario Stegner. We start with the silver medalist because we know he has to go, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mario, once you saw what you did this morning, one of the, the best jumps, you were already on the provisional sort of volume. Did you expect the medal at the very end? I mean, after the ski jumping, for sure I expected the medal, but uh, yeah, before the ski jumping competition, I thought. Uh, I just have to be satisfied to be here and uh, not to stay injured at all. So, I mean, for me, it was I was just coming to Verazzo and say, okay, I want to be, um, yeah, a, a small part of our, our good team this season, and I want to help them for making a medal in uh, on Sunday. And then the day it was dry round, I was jumping quite good. It was 98 meters, and there I thought, okay. It might be that today I can do a quite good job, and so it was then. For sure, it was a bit. I, I was a little bit lucky on um, the conditions, but uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's not possible to make a medal, I guess. And uh, yeah, then I had this one, uh, 106 meter jump, and I was quite confident that I can I can fight for a medal. Uh, for sure, it was really close. It's in, on the finish line, but uh, that's a big accomplishment for our, for our sport, for a Nordic combined. And uh, yeah, it couldn't have made it better like, on the finish line like it was today. Thank you very much. Let's go on and welcome to bronze medalist Bjorn Kierkegaard. Welcome. Um, just one back question uh, for you. At the very end, Everyone was uh, maybe expecting the former world champion now, Eric Frenzel, jumping on the podium, but now Germany can celebrate you on the third step of the podium. Yeah, yes, uh, Eric was the, the favorite for the, uh, for the competition today, but I have a little bit problems uh, the last two days in the jumping hill, and today was my best jump. Yeah, and the condition was not too easy today and it was so windy and yeah, we need a lot of luck and yeah, my jump was okay, the wind condition was okay and yeah, it was the 12th place so, so far and uh, after the cross country races, yeah, the, after five kilometers it was so hard, uh, the feeling was not the best for me and yeah, I with uh, Jason and uh, Jason was uh, uh, was too strong today for me and <coughs> yeah I'm happy about uh, the medal and yeah and for me for the day. Did you expect maybe a uh, different race, for example, from the Japanese team that you know uh, was quite candidate on the podium as well? We talked about about Takabe and Kato. They were at the front, but uh, on the first lap, they just disappeared. Yeah, the Japanese guys are very strong, and it's a little bit my favorite uh, for the team competition. And uh, uh, Akito was uh, the first round and the second round behind me. Yeah, he is very strong, and yeah, today was was the first round. The deck was too hard. I think we had the best yeah, performance today, you three guys, and yeah, so one. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go on to finish with the world champion. Just on the <coughs> should we? Well, uh, you started with uh, uh, well, the distant jump, but it was the 11th time. Uh, what for? I mean, just save energies for the cross-country race or what happened? Uh, 
this morning was difficult for me. Uh, I'm not used to being uh, this far, like one minute behind the, the best jumpers. I'm usually a better jumper than that, and I felt quite frustrated uh, after my jump. But um, I knew that uh, if in a great shape, I could come back, and uh, my goal was to follow Magnus Millen. And uh, when I went, I pushed hard on the, on the third lap, uh, he couldn't follow, and uh, then I, I, I realized that uh, I was in really good shape and that uh, <clears throat> I could probably make, a, make it to, to the medal. And uh, then it became a really tactical race and an awesome finish with, uh, with four guys in the sprint. And uh, it was awesome to, to... We didn't know really what to expect until the last 10 meters of the, of the race. In the last two kilometers, uh, the German team was very, was pushing very hard, especially Eric Frenzel, when he started the half hill and you went straight behind him. And uh, at the beginning of the downhill, you passed him. Mm -hmm. What do you thought in that moment that you got the medal already? Um. Well, it, it was more like a technical thing. I saw yesterday in the, in the sprints that the, the guys that had a lot of um, speed over the, the little knoll before the, the finish line got a nice advantage. And that's what I tried to do uh, at the top of the hill. I tried to go as fast as possible to have some speed for the last uh, finish line. Thank you very much. Any open questions <coughs> for uh, three athletes? <coughs> Give up to sprint a little bit, so I, I was I was not uh, was not quite lucky in this sprint, but uh, for sure on second to be on the second posi position, it's more than I expected. And uh, as you see, it was for sure yeah not that easy to be on the second position. It's totally yeah, normal if you're just on the fourth position because it was so close. But uh, yeah, if it's that close, I think it's it, it's a per perfect replacement for another combine. Any other questions um, here? Question to to Jason Lodge. Could you describe the last few meters when were you sure you would be the number one? <coughs> uh, first, the uh, last finish line was really long to me. I felt like. I never was going to, to end this, this, this finish line. Um, I was really tired, had almost cramps in my legs, but uh, I saw that I still had power because I was pushing as hard as I could and, uh, and uh, I saw nobody on my sides. So uh, I just managed to keep the little gap that I had in, in front and uh, felt awesome when I, I finished. Any further questions? Yes, um, well, individually now, uh, it's, it, 
still, it's perfect uh, world championships for me. I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm very happy. And uh, now I'm, the goal is going to be trying to share uh, the medal with the teammates. And we've, we were second in Sochi and try to do a, a good competition like Sochi. And I think we're, we, we, we can make it. It's going to be open because a lot of teams are, are in very good shape, but uh, everything can happen and we can be on the podium. Okay, thank you very much guys, congratulations. Welcome to the FIS press conference after the female ski jumping competition. And please welcome on the table the new world champion, Sarah Hendrickson, and uh, silver medalist, Sarah Takanashi. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's ask a question to this. Uh, new world champion. Two jumps. The first was uh, basically perfect. Were you already sure of the gold medal at that point? Oh, absolutely not. Um, ski, <laughs> ski jumping takes two jumps. They count equally the same and you know for me it gives me confidence to have a good first jump but it takes two and I kept telling myself that as I rode up the chairlift. Um, I knew I had to stay mentally tough, and of course I wanted to, you know, keep the results um, after the second jump, but, you know, I had to stay strong and, um, you know, do my jump regardless of what the results were for the first round. Last year here, you won twice, and uh, you did amazing jumps as well. Do you find any uh, differences between last year's jumps and this year's? And uh, basically, uh, how do you find the, the jump structure and the snow today? Yeah, last year we came here for two World Cups and um, I had two wins here and I uh, broke the hill record twice. So it was a good hill for me. I really like it. And of course, this week showing up, the hill is perfectly prepared. Um, the weather was you know, seemed pretty fair. All in all, it's an outdoor sport, so it can't be perfect, but um, yeah, the facility is amazing. I love this hill, and I love Predato. Thank you very much. Um, let's ask now uh, Sarah Takanashi a um, couple of questions, and I'll ask my friend over there translating in Japanese, because I know Sarah uh, doesn't speak English, so I'll do the questions in English. English and translate, okay? Um, Sarah, uh, is Sarah Hendrickson unbeatable <laughs> in general? I mean, as she jumped today, is Hendrickson unbeatable or not?
Yeah, obviously I'm from the States where ski jumping is not popular at all, um, which is very different over here in Europe. I mean, the men are considered superstars. Um, so for us, um, the story with the Olympics has gotten actually a lot of coverage in the past year. And I suspect that this summer, um, with our story being broadcasted more and more, um, that that's going to change. I think. Uh, women's ski jumping has grown substantially in the past, um, I mean, 10 years. I mean, it, we've come so far, and I think that's going to continue to grow. And, of course, with the inclusion of the Olympics, um, that's going to help it even more. So um, we're trying. I mean, I want young athletes to start ski jumping just because I love it so much, and I want to spread how amazing this sport is. So um, I'm trying to get it as popular as possible in the States and um, looking, you know, T towards the Olympics, I think that's obviously going to help. Any other question? Yeah, obviously Takanashi's been jumping amazing for the entire season and her results in Zao and in um, Lubno last weekend. I mean, she beat us by a substantial amount of points. So I definitely had doubts in the back of my mind about what was going to happen this weekend. And I, <laughs> she's, again, she jumped awesome in training and um, I, I just found the rhythm of this hill and it was enough to beat her by <laughs> a very small margin. Um, but yeah, I definitely, it was, I knew it was going to be a hard fight and um, I'm, it's an accomplishment to be an athlete as good and as mentally tough as she is. One more question. Yeah, it's uh, really exciting to have uh, another event here at World Championships that we've never had before. Um, um, as some of you know, our men's team isn't as strong as you know we hope they could be, but they're gradually building up, and we have two strong girls. Um, so I think we have pretty good chances. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't. I, we have to have a good day for sure to be in medal contention, but. Um, for me, it's just fun to be competing with the guys because I look up to them a lot. Okay. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you. We have bronze medalist Jacqueline Seppisberger. Welcome and uh, well, congratulations first of all. You, um, well, I think you will remember for a while this month, February, after the workout in the Sapporo, and now a bronze medal in the World Championships here in Italy. How do you feel? Um, 
it's just amazing. Uh, I feel pretty good. Um, yeah, my jumping is very, very good at this time, and so I'm happy with the bronze medal. How do you find the heels today? You did great in your trainings. Did you expect such a result? I mean, uh, when you, especially after Anderson and Takanashi's first jumps? Uh, my training was also very good and the hills were pretty good uh, pre prepared. So it just, I just needed um, two good jumps and it was very difficult to, to compete against the Seras. So I'm very happy with the, uh, the bronze medal. Thank you. If you have any questions in English, please. Okay. Thank you very much.